Okay, so that looks like a, a nice design for something. <laughs> it is, look, I mean, there's lots of designs for space elevators. He said this is all really far into the future, but people have tried to come up with, could we design one? And can we cost one to see how much it is to come it? And as he said, we need the simple idea. We have some sort of array cable system with motors uh, and a spool, obviously, to feed it. Now, some people have suggested that maybe one of the ways we can also do this is attach some sort of photo array. And that is that we can generate using a laser from Earth, much like we'll explore in a bit later in this course, give it a push using photon pressure to help it, and then also have you know, our, our tank of our system and our cables to wheel it up. So a very complicated lift. So you're assuming you're building it from the ground up, are you? That's so right. And you need a lot of lasers to be able to support it, because yes. it won't support itself till it reaches geostationary That's orbit. Right. I think in the early days, people always thought you'd lower it down from up there, but then you have to build the cable in space. Exactly. And a cable that many thousands of kilometers long and probably pretty wide to support it is going to be very difficult to get that much raw materials up into space. That's right, because you have to get that stuff up and you don't have a space elevator. So a lot of people now have shifted that you have to start from the ground probably to get up because that's the only way a cost efficiently uh, to make it. Uh, and if you were to have something where you were firing it to 36, 35,000 kilometers, if you're doing the laser part, you need a mirror that's about 12 meters wide, they think, which is doable. It's yeah. big, but doable. Doable. We've done it. Um, as you said, the string or the cable is the tricky part. Again, a lot of people love the, uh, the carbon nanotube idea. But it's a bit of a jump at this point, as you said, to go from a few millimeters to a few tens of thousands of kilometers. Presumably it's going to be something like I mean, most of these uh, fiberglass and so on. It's going to be some sort of composite That's material. Right. It's not going to be a carbon nanotube that long. It's going to be like carbon fiber woven into some sort That's of right. pattern. And so, so people think there probably is enough material energy that could happen to it. Now, some people have tried to cost all of this out. What would it actually do? So now your costs to get to geostationary orbit to start assembling things probably cost around $2 billion in the beginning, close to a billion dollars to produce that cable. And again, this is research and development money. A billion dollars for the spacecraft, that's not surprising. You know, 750 million, 3 billion. A lot of these things are hundreds of millions to billions of dollars, giving us budget probably in the tens of billions of dollars for it. Now, Rockets are developed for hundreds of millions to billions of dollars. So this isn't dramatically expensive. That's a few seconds of COVID pandemic costs. Yes, unfortunately. So, you know, the costs as technology changes aren't as dramatic as one may think. Still very expensive. And I think, as you said, with the um, principle here, it's the demand, right? People like to send satellites, but we don't have the demand where everyone wants to go up and down now, nor can afford it. And then the question is, who is actually going to spend the at least 12, probably double that, probably 25 billion, if not more. Probably 10 times that, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> to, to invest to do this. Now, again, someone may down the road, but what is their business model now of recouping their $50 billion? So I think in some sense, the cheaper like SpaceX rockets might pave the way. Yeah. So they, if they can bring the price down a factor of 100, that people will start using space for all sorts of things that hasn't been used for before. That's right. And we'll see how big the market becomes. If the market becomes 100 times as big, then this sort of thing starts looking sensible. That's right. And so, you know, this is kind of the interesting idea is whenever we think of going into space, there's lots of ideas, there's a lot of work, there's a lot of research that goes into it. But it is, it, is, it is the money, it is the funding, both of how do you develop it, how do you run it, who's paying for it, why are they paying for it, where's that money going that drives a lot of these things. And it's kind of, I think, the forgotten aspect of space is the economics of it. And of course, if we can go back to history, I mean, you've got to look at the costs involved in sending, yeah. say, convicts to Australia. That's right. In it wasn't cheap. 
It wasn't cheap, and you tr they would have the trade-offs. Is it cheaper to lock them up and throw away the key in a cell in England, or is it cheaper to ship them to Australia? And as the price of sailing ships went down, as people yep. made them simpler and more efficient, it became worthwhile shipping it. So again, as we think, as these costs change, the things we do in space are going to change. That's right. Right now, it has to be the very highest value add, but that's going to be very different. Also, yeah. different things start becoming possible in space, even with the current price drops. That's right. I don't think the space market has yet responded to the dramatic drop in prices we've seen in the last 10 years. No, but it's, it, it's starting to. And I think we start to see as more companies, more countries, more groups doing it. The idea that, you know, you can almost, as a really expensive school project, uh, start to think about designing a satellite. That's actually not that far off. And there are groups who are doing this already. So this is kind of the new market of space is as the economies and really economy of scale is changing here, both in every aspect of the operation, the who and what to space is going to start dramatically changing.